Wisconsin members of Congress have very different opinions about a sit-in that ended today and the gun control legislation that sparked it. Political reporter Jessica Arp is here with the latest on what developed today in Washington, Jess. Well, Wisconsin members are in the spotlight as this debate rages on some offering bill options, others broadcasting to social media, and Speaker Paul Ryan battling for control of the House. <laughs> The scene on the floor of the House of Representatives for 26 hours looked as the Wisconsin State Legislature has looked on occasion in recent years. Refer to the House calendar. Republicans tried to forge ahead with votes over the protests of Democrats, but gaveled out the session until July. A sit-in came to an end then Thursday morning, shortly after Speaker Paul Ryan denounced the tactic. This is the people's house. This is Congress, the House of Representatives, oldest democracy in the world and they're just sending it into chaos. Democrats, including those from Wisconsin, said ending the sit-in was not the end of the fight. We need to pressure them to do their jobs. Uh, Congress not acting is simply not acceptable, and the public have been saying that, and members of the Democratic caucus have been saying that, and we're trying to force action. In the Senate, Republican Ron Johnson introduced his version of an amendment in the Senate that would have allowed the courts to intervene in a watch list by. We are so close. We are so close. And I applaud Susan Collins and the other, co and other colleagues for trying to work to a bipartisan agreement to accomplish that goal. But my amendment simply adds due process on the front end. But it wasn't close. Johnson's amendment failed on a procedural vote. A bipartisan compromise offered by a Republican from Maine cleared the first hurdle. Pocan is hopeful that bill passes and returns to the House after the break. The Collins proposal is something that um, I know uh, Tammy Baldwin and others support. And I think if that passed the Senate, uh, it would be a good getting your maybe not foot in the door, but your toe in the door towards dealing with gun violence. Now, the Collins Amendment got 52 votes to pass that procedural hurdle. It would still need 60 votes to pass the full Senate. It'd be interesting to see C-SPAN's ratings from overnight. <laughs> a lot of people stayed up watching. Quite it. a drama to yeah. watch. All right, thank you, Jess. You're welcome.